All right, I'm going to record the uh, visualization tool working with the simple laser obstacle avoid. Right, I've got the tunnel environment started here. Right, I'm going to drive it with a joystick. So in this terminal, I'm just going to, uh, oh, sorry, I'm not driving it with a joystick. I'm using the laser obstacle avoid. So I'm going to launch that file. And it's going to start from the beginning. And now I'm going to launch the free space visualization tool in the third terminal. Right. And let's add camera image here. All right. And so we've got the view of the robot. All right, and so what's showing here on the left, right, in this uh, free space is that you can see the distance threshold that I'm using is two meters. So we're fil I'm filtering every laser scan and saying, just give me the indices of every point that's two meters or, or greater than two meters in front or two meter distance of a laser range scan. Okay, I can talk. Some days, right, anything that measures greater than a radius of two from the laser, right? And I was trying to run this for every laser scan, but the, the publishing rate for the laser is 50 times a second, so I slowed this down to just twice a second now. Uh, so it does not show us the most current scan, but twice a second, just let's see then what it thinks then is the uh, free space. So free space is a gap in between and it makes sense that this line from here to here, this is a huge gap. Now remember the robot positive X axis is going out this way, Y axis, remember the robot model, the front of the robot is actually the X axis, right? You can see here I'm showing then the uh, transform of the laser right and this is just anchored back to the chassis this anchor point here zoom back out you can see then here's the actual laser scans which our biz is keeping up with uh, my plotting and code was not keeping up with that every so often right in this wide tunnel we get an extra portion of free space i guess this laser obstacle avoid all it does is it says steer towards whatever opening is the largest, right? It's only updating it one hertz. There is, there's a constant wobbling, as you see, because this is constantly readjusting its steering, right? And it's very similar to what I showed the other day, except now I've got this tool showing me where the angle openings are. Right? So the next steps from here is that I'm going to actually then, uh, Go back to the method where I was breaking everything up to about five or six quadrants in front of the robot. And so I want to just start showing then what the robot sees in each, so I shouldn't call them quadrant sections. And then in my uh, next attempts, I'm actually going to have the robot try to continuously driving straight, unless it's going to run into something in front of it, at which point then I'll have it execute a turn. So it's, it will still be driving blind. Uh, it will only be looking a few meters in front of itself to decide what to do, right? No map or anything to explore yet. And it's important that if you want to see the free space visualization is that this is the active terminal. That's why I started it last, to keep that the active terminal. Otherwise, if it's not, I find then uh, that this tends not to update. All right, we're likely, so this distance threshold for X1, most of the time we end up going down this narrow passageway, right? And we're basically skimming the wall at this point. And as we go around the corner, there's going to, going to be some blocks that I guess they're a little ways down here. Usually we end up going around the corner running onto some rocks, which is the end of the demo at that point. The robot beaches itself. 
So here's where I think the robot is going to beat itself. Like I said, its biggest opening is behind it. Yeah, it makes that steer for the left and can't get over the rocks because, oh, here we go. Beached ourselves on the rock, so we are just sort of stuck here now, unless a wheel somehow catches the ground. Usually you get stuck. Yeah, looks like we're stuck now. All right, so now you know how to run the free space visualization tool that's out in the repository.